so what we need to do so now this is a empty project okay okay so sir. in this project we don't have any file so what we need to do we have to create a web forms and uh, in web forms it's creating a web form new item web form 1 and add so this is a like simple web form okay, okay so also we can use html page if you want to create any other page so we can also use the html page so like html page and i have give this html page index so your index page always run so this is a basic structure of your html okay so like we are creating the welcome page now we have a heading like hr hr for the horizontal line and we have the heading section h1 welcome is html welcome in html so basically this is a like pair tag html html h there is a opening and closing tag is called pair tag and head section head opening and closing and body section opening and closing hr and hr h1 opening and h2 close so hr is a single uh, a singular uh, like tag or this is a uh, like pair tag there is a opening tag and closing tag is called pair tag and this is singular tag only opening tag is a singular tag understood understand sir now we have to run this page with the is it will always is please always show so it will run with the local host okay so we will discuss about the server okay after html So now your page has been run. So this is local host. Let's say port number, and this is your page name with the extension. So in HTML, we have a six type of heading. So H1. Now we have H2, H3, H5, H4, H5, H6. So whenever you type it's two. So H two, H three, H four, H five, H six. So now it will generate six type of heading. So in heading section, we have the like attribute or property aligned. Sir, this is inline alignment, right, sir? Yeah. Okay. align center you can mention okay sir understand understand now next tag is like a uh, section we can say so basically we need to understand what is html tags like tags are the html codes word 
text are instruction that's embedded directly to the text and document. So there are two types of text, singular uh, pair tag and singular tag. There is opening and closing okay, tag is called pair tag. And when I, there is only the single uh, means opening tag only that is called your singular tag. So basically okay, you have, uh, additional information inside the tag. So that is called your attribute of tag. Okay. Okay. So multiple attribute also there. So if you want to change your body color, so you can write the basic color only. Basic color, okay, sir, okay. Basic color, like green, or text should be white. So inside the text, we can use like color. Like this. Understood? Understand, sir. Now, we have a six type uh, BG color. You can also find the background thing if you want, like apply the background image. So also you can give the background. Okay, for the background image, you have to pass the background. Okay. Okay. And your image name. So this is your homework. So you have to done with the web background. Okay. Okay, sir. Now these type of heading we have already complete H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Now we have a paragraph tag. So paragraph tag basically, if you want to write any paragraph, so you can use the paragraph tag, like T tag. Okay, sir, understand that, sir. So inside the paragraph, So, like, if you want to print any paragraph or any, like, suppose that I want to write, like, something like intensive. Suppose that I want to like, this is whole paragraph about the age at 900. Okay. So I can write this line, this type of line, and we can run this program. So it will display like this. Okay, sir, understand, understand. Now, here also we can like, Welcome, like age at 900. And we want to apply something extra. Like, if you want to, okay. some part of a strong text, so you can use bold. So, inside the bold thing, it will be bold. It will show like bold. Okay, sir, understand. Some lines, sub, some part, if you want, like, display like line break so you can line using br tag you can take the line okay, okay. something you okay, want, like uh, italic so you can use i for italic something like this so this is this part will show the italic only okay sir like some part, if you want to underline, so you can use I, U. U means underlines. Okay, sir. So it will display like this. So this is bold section. This is italic it's section. Like italic. And this is underline. underline. Yeah. Now, some part we can display in the like uh, subscript and superscript section. 
So what is subscript and superscript? Whenever you write S U P, superscript. So it will display in the type like uh, this one. Uh, where is like this? Okay, sir. Okay, understand. And if you want the base thing, if you want so in a base, so is you can use S U V. Sub script. So it will display like this. Okay, sir. Now we have a the like font section also here. So we have to discuss font. So for the font, if you want to display something like in a different manner, so we can write, yeah. So if you want to display the like font, color, sorry, font size. First we have to define font size like 15, font color like red font size font uh, font size color and yeah font face times new woman now this will show with that different like this Are you there? Anthony, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, so font will like display like this. Okay, sir. So this is a font section. We can use font face, font size, font color. Font face means font okay. name. Font size means uh, size of the font. And color means like you can pass the color, font color. Understand, sir. Now we have division tag. So division basically, you uh, using division we can like divide your document section. Okay. Okay. And this have only the one like uh, attribute that is alignment. Okay. Okay. So also, we can pass this thing with the division section. And division always cover like a full document section. So if you want to check something different, so what you need to do, you have to like, suppose that I want to pass the border. So border 1px solid and uh, sorry, black and solid. Okay, sir. So it will display like border like this. So solid means uh, light color, right, sir? No, no. Solid means like a border solid. A straight line. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sir. Understand. If you want dashed, so it will display like dashed. This one. Okay. Understood, sir. Understood, yeah. And this also you can change, change this section background, background color. Like color. So this will display. Like understood, understood, sir. So, this is a division section. Also, you can use the alignment left, right, center. Now, HR already we have understand, but inside the HR, yes, we sir. can use width or size. 
we have two attribute inside the HR, we can use with like 50% and size either represent the thickness of the like line size and also we can use color color red okay okay sir okay so now we have some text formatting which is already we have okay. Old italic underline so big the underline uh, big small. So using these uh, these tag you can apply the font formatting. Okay. Okay, sir. So now we have uh, some character entities. Character entities means some very a special meaning of HTML is called character entities. Like suppose that if you want to non-breaking space, so you and m percent NVSP. So suppose that I want to space here. So I have to write like NBSP. NBSP. Yes, NBSP. That is for single space, right, sir? Yeah. So whenever you want less than and greater than, if you want display less than, so LT. And if you want to greater than, so GT. LT and GT. Okay, okay, sir. So this will display like this. Okay, I understand, sir. So we have more like if you want to represent M percent. So you can print like M percent, like uh, for the M percent you have to print A M P. So it display like M percent thing. This. Okay, so take a screen screenshot and like use you can also print the one second sir. Mark, copyright you can use a special type of symbol you can use okay sir one second Sir, okay, sir. And then there is one more tag that is mark you tag. So, yeah, so mark you tag you can write like mark you. Mark you. So, your text will. Mark. So it will like uh, start to right to left. Understood? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, so it will display like this. So, check once. So, have you used a market? Eh? Yes, sir. We use the market tag, sir. Okay. So, how many parameters supported by market tag? Sir, only one thing. No, no, parameters means like attributes. How many attributes? These type of attribute you can use. Behavior, basic color, direction, height, space, load. Direction, sir. Direction you have you used? Yes, sir. Direction is uh, I use it as a for up, up. Mm -hmm. For latest news uh, in web publication, we are have a one div for latest news. So mm -hmm. that news will scrolling uh, daily updation by using uh, so market tag, sir. You have to use all of this. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, once again, I need to take print screen, sir. Yeah. 
One second, sir. Okay, take in, sir. Now we have an image section. So for the image, what we need to do, we have to take a like image. We have to create a folder for the image. So we have a create image and we need to take a image from anywhere. So like suppose that I have taken these images, okay? Okay. Like copy and paste. Yes, apply it. Copy and paste only. Now, using IMG tag, you can you can take image inline image. Okay. So. Okay, sir. IMG inline image. So. We have to run this. So image displayed. Okay. So now you can manage your image with, with the height. You can pass the width. Like I want to with only 250 pixels. If you want to height. So you can pass like 100. It's this type you can give. 250. Okay. Height is 300. And we can use alt tag. Alt tag means alternative tag. Alternative. Is, okay, sir. Is at 900. You can also pass the title. Title displays like tool tips. Do you know about the tool tip? Yes, sir. I know, sir. So it display like this. While hovering, uh, it's showing title. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Now you can take a multiple images with a single line because of your HTML always again support single line or you can say like inline image. Okay. So it display like this. You can change image name. Oh, sorry, image okay. name for the multiple images. Okay. Is it clear? Clear, sir, clear. Now. So inside the image, we can use align, border, width, height, achieve space, B space, and alt. Understood? Okay, understand, sir. Now, we have a next topic, list. So what is list in the HTML? Sir, listing uh, the content, sir. Sorry? Listing the content. You, LI. Yeah. Whenever you print the list of items, the list categorize in the three sections, order list, unordered list, and definition list. That is inside the okay. HTML. So order list means ordering format. You can print like this. 1, A, A, Roman, I, and I. So it will display like this. 
Understand, sir? O O L Taiwan start. Then it will display four five Noida Kanpur and Bangalore. So also we can use the list here. Like if you want to print the bulleted point or any like specific point for the related to. Course. So, okay. So that what topic we have covered, so we can type this inside the list. So we have to pass O L, and we have to pass L I. So it will display like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. So sir. if you want like uh, starting things, we start like A. So it will display like type start from one. Okay, so it will display like A B C D E F G. Okay. Understood. Understand, sir. Very good. section this one now also you can use ul ul means unordered list unordered list so you can use circle disk and square like this i think no you know about this you will also are you there yes sir sir your voice is breaking sir voice okay okay it's a delay sir yes sir uh, your voice came to delay sir okay maybe there is some internet issue okay okay so now what you need to do you have to cover with the definition list with the definition list only okay okay so inside the definition list there is three type tags dl definition uh, definition list dt definition term or dd definition description take a screenshot okay, one second sir one second okay sir taken sir okay so